There are many challenges associated with muskie fishing in December. Ice, cold, wind. But the biggest problem is finding someone as dumb as you are to go out and do this silly thing. What's going on everybody? My name is Brian. You're watching England Anarchy. I found a dumb guy. <laughs> Colin Schlicht, Hardcore Hook and Guide Service. Uh, yeah, it's December. It's the middle of December and uh, we've gotten lucky here in southern Wisconsin and it's staying warm enough to keep the big lakes open. So we are out here trying for a December muskie. Uh, no small feat. We've got a couple suckers out but that's the other problem with December muskie fishing is finding suckers. They're just non-existent. The ones we have are they're not healthy, <laughs> but we've got them out. We've got one big one, one small one, uh, and we're just going to be uh, throwing glides. What, what's our water temp? 33, 33.65. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, you're trying to fish for fish that are very slow. Um, but yeah, we're going to give it a shot, see what we can do, and hopefully we can put a muskie in the net for you. All right, everybody, I'm throwing a Rusty's Custom Lures. I think this one is a fortune teller. I think that's what he calls this one. Got the little dangly blade on the back. Throwing it on a nine foot surgical strike, assault stick 2020 from Chaos Tackle. Tranks 400 and of course fins. Big game excess, 80 pound. I've used it all season and it has been awesome. Oh, dude. <laughs> How big? He's still there. Keep going. How big? Uh, just a little guy. Okay. <laughs> I see the swirl. Oh, that is that is a thousand percent on me, dude. Because <laughs> I I literally I literally I'm working my bait. I was like, why is my bait not working? Oh, there's a fish attached to it. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was if it was thirty, I'd be lucky, you know. So it was. Nothing. Wow, that's dumb. <laughs> I was like, why is my bait not working? And I gave it a little pop and I saw the fish come off. <laughs> Oh, there was a follow. Small guy. He was he was a little ways back, but yeah, they, uh, and here and then the waves are just enough that it makes it hard to kind of see what's going on unless they're right on it, you know. Yeah. <coughs> of course he sw swam. Yeah, yeah. But we got we got some time. I think. Big fish. <gasps> big fish. Big fish. Big fish. Oh, baby. Stay hooked, baby. No, 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 no. Yeah, baby. What are you talking about? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> were we just saying to? Yeah, oh, we might come. Might have to make a decision. That's awesome, Better dude. Get into a fish here pretty soon. That Bad is. That is awesome, dude. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Um, Do you want me to kind of reel the suckers in and we can to just to deal with the deal with the fish? Um, Put it on spot lock right here. Yeah, or you know what? I'll just turn it off and let us drift. Okay, okay. We can always come back. Okay. <sighs> yeah, buddy. Thank you. 
came and said hi today. <laughs> what a beautiful December oh, Look at that. Don't let anybody tell you you can't catch them casting this late in the year. Look at that belly. What a beautiful fish, buddy. That's why we're out here this late. <laughs> Heck yeah. He's mean looking. Hey, solid fish. We got there 40. It was just short of 42. Oh, 42. Oh, 41. Yeah. That's a thick 42, man. That is a thick 42. Beautiful fish. All day. Nicely done. All right. I'll put her in up here? Yep. Okay. Switch spots with you. Here, I can come right down here. Oh. Oh. All right. Probably gonna go pretty quick. Up a little bit. All right, my hand's getting cold, dude. Yeah. <laughs> hand's getting cold. Let's go here. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Off like a shot. <laughs> it's the dog and a bot. Nicely done. <laughs> we did it. Uh, it is starting to rain. So, uh, as if it. Uh, December musky fishing isn't already kind of tough. Rain's gonna make it tougher, but uh, I think we can put up with this for a little bit and maybe squeak out at least one more. Fish. No. <laughs> little guy. It's a musky. It is a musky. It's a musky. Yeah, I, I, I could probably. Just take the hook out. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll swing back around. <laughs> little guy. Must be the little brother <laughs> hanging out on the same rocks. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's awesome. That is awesome. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like a bass or a long. I did too. It just came up top. <laughs> Unfortunately, I couldn't match the size of the one Colin just got, but it is a December muskie, so. <laughs> Pretty little guy hit that Rusty's Custom. So, we'll get it back in. Apparently, the muskies are hitting right now, so. Whew, my hands are... Frozen. <laughs> it's quite the ordeal, wasn't it, there, buddy? Someday you'll put up a better fight. <laughs> All right, we'll keep an eye on. See if he kicks off here. And, ooh, I'm gonna warm my hands up. <laughs> Get out of here, little guy. All right, folks, those those back-to-back -back fish just show the importance of looking at the moon and what it's doing because even though it is a crap day as far as the phase, it's like 9% or it's a really low percentage if you're looking at those, um, uh, at the apps that you can look at that, that show like, it's a 75% day, it's a 9% it's a day on my phone anyway, but we were right at the peak of one of the little major minor spots and both those fish hit. So, pay attention to that. Even if it's a crummy day, focus on those majors and minors and that might be when you're going to get your bites. We're going to go to some other rocks right over here. Okay, yeah. Oh, Alright, we'll go right to the rock on the right, on the south shore then. Oh, I got a fish. Get it to go and fall. Still 
he might have taken off. I'm just kind of letting it drop back there. Oh, he's 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 back there. Yeah, if you can just get him interested, like speed up and then let it fall. Sometimes when I can't get him to go, I'll start going fast, like summertime. Oh yeah. And because at this point, if you can't get him to go, try to go start going fast. I was I was trying to I was trying to sucker him into the sucker. <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised you didn't eat the sucker. Yeah. Because right there, isn't it? he it's right there, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's always a treat to get out musky fishing in December in Wisconsin. And to put some fish in the boat is just absolutely amazing. And the best part of this whole thing is this is just the first part of this day. We were only out for about five hours because there was some rain coming in. I'm sure that helped us a little bit uh, as far as getting those fish to hit. But you've only seen two of them. Well, one and a half. That was the little guy. We had follows. We had Colin got that nice one that was almost 42 on, on a glide. So just that is amazing. We've got three more fish. Three more fish. Uh, I'll have that out in another week or two. An amazing day. So, I mean, really, we boated four nice ones and a little guy in about five hours. So, you can't beat that. It's just absolutely amazing. If you would like to get out with Mr. Colin Schlicht, uh, all of his stuff will be in the description below. So, you can look him up, if not this year, for next year. Uh, he does an excellent job. He's on fish all the time in southeastern Wisconsin. So, definitely. Uh, hit Colin up if you'd like to get out and chase muskies. All right, quickly, Angling Anarchy hoodies. If you want one, shoot me an email, anglinganarchy at gmail.com, and hopefully I can get you hooked up with one of these. I'll be at a few of the upcoming muskie expos, Chicago, Milwaukee, Pennsylvania Muskie Max, and the Wisconsin Muskie Expo. So uh, if you'd like a hoodie, I can either bring you one. We'll figure it out. Uh, shoot me an email. And with that, I appreciate it every single one of you watching this mess, and I'll see you in the next video.